It's pitch black, extremely cold, immensely pressurised, low in food and oxygen, and insanely vast. I'm of course talking about, not that, the deep sea. To survive in inconceivably extreme environments like this, animals of the deep must be pretty amazing. They are, not just because most of them look like incredibly creepy, pissed off aliens, but mainly because these mysterious creatures have adapted in ways that will surely blow your mind away, for a multitude of reasons. AMAZING! At depths of 1,800 meters or more, it's the largest habitat on Earth, so let's explore the most amazing creatures found there. Number 5. The Spotlight Loose Jaw This alien from the deep has highly adapted weaponry and surveillance gear. It gets the first part of its name from what looks like a stoplight that glows below its eyes, which is useful because most of its prey cannot detect red light so it's basically got an invisible flashlight. As fish from the deep must also succeed in any opportunity to grab a passing meal, this fish has adapted a hunting method the inventors of the mouse trap would be proud of. It can completely separate its lower jaw from its head and stretch it pretty damn far, so that's where the loose jaw part of its name comes from. Also, in order to reduce water resistance and for added general creepiness, there's no flaw to the stoplight's lower jaw, and it's only attached by a single ligament, so it can snap its jaws shut really fast, and almost dislocate its neck in the process. To its prey, it no doubt appears to be a dead fish, right up until it eats them. Like most species in this video, it's very difficult to study, and it's only known from specimens that are brought up from deep nets. Yet, unlike the next creatures, this doesn't technically live below 1800 meters, so imagine what mad animals must live down there. Number 4. The barrel eye fish. This animal has adapted in a unique way, to say the least. Like myself, you probably assume that the eyes of this depressed fish were set just above its mouth. However, those are actually the fish's nostrils. The eyes of this creepy creature are enclosed under those green transparent domes and peer through its transparent head, allowing the fish to claim its victims as it lurks below them. That's right, rather than giving it some kind of super creature smell to hunt in the darkness of the deep sea, nature saw fit to glue eyes on the top of its brain and give it an invisible skull. Nature, you crazy. These creatures are much smaller than you think too. Most of the ones we've caught have only been about 15 centimeters in length. Only one specimen has ever been found with its head intact, and it was filmed in 2004 by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. Number three cookie cutter shark. Don't let this deep sea creature's silly name and wide smile fool you, because it's actually really vicious and definitely doesn't pick fights on creatures of its own size. This is because it preys on just about every large and medium sized creature it shares an ocean with, from whales to seals and even other sharks. It does this by sinking its bizarre jaws deep into their skin and twisting its little body to carve out a perfect skin biscuit, leaving behind a crater in its victim. This is why it's also classed as a parasite, because it hurts its prey without killing them. Besides its parasitic feeding strategy, the cookie cutter shark has a bizarre cigar shaped body and is also extremely bioluminescent in order to convince prey to come to it. On top of all that strangeness, it's said to migrate vertically up to 3 kilometers every day, approaching the surface to hunt at dusk and descending with the dawn. The fearless cookie cutters have even disabled the most dangerous ocean creature of all, the nuclear submarine. Reportedly, numerous subs have been sent back to base for repairs, after cookie cutters took bites out of the rubbery sonar domes they use for navigation. Number 2. Giant Isopod These creatures look sorta of like giant mutated woodlice, and there are actually 20 known species in the giant isopod family. They're bottom feeders and are thought to live at depths of up to 2200 meters, where they like to bury themselves in the mud for protection. Funnily enough, they're pretty agile, being able to swim upside down and roll into a ball to deter predators who may find it difficult to bite through their hard external segments. It's thought that they typically feed off dead animals that fall from above, and as it may be a rarity, they have adapted to be able to survive with very little food. In fact, one that was held in the Toba Aquarium in Japan refused to eat for a whole five years before it eventually died. 
One of the reasons they can go on hunger strike for ages is because they live in a constant state of semi-hibernation in order to limit their energy expenditure. Now that's amazing. Number one, wolf trap angler. You've probably heard of the anglerfish, those creatures that just look like pure evil. Well, this is one of them. The term anglerfish actually refers to a group of fish that hunt in a particular way. They lure prey in using the light produced at the end of that rod on its head. It's a clever adaptation for survival in the deep sea where food is scarce. The wolf trap anglerfish in particular gets its name from its unique jaw, with the top jaw being much larger than the bottom. It lives far deeper than most anglerfish. But the most unbelievable thing about the anglerfish more generally is the way they make love. Here's how they do it. From birth, males suck at life, they're small, weak, and barely able to find food. The male's only destiny is to perform unbelievably unromantic sex. After finding a female using his sense of smell, he will proceed to bite her and fuse to her eternally. After joining to her blood supply, they essentially become shiny new gonads for the female. Astonishingly, multiple males can fuse to a single female, so each lady can acquire multiple pairs of fishy balls on call to fertilise eggs at the whim of the female. To all the male anglerfish out there, my thoughts go out to you. You have a pretty crappy life. This has been a short snapshot of some amazing creatures from the deep. We're discovering new species all the time, so there are many more creatures to unearth. Should we make more videos on amazing creatures from the deep? And if so, let us know any deep sea creatures that you think are amazing. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to Be Amazed.